um, you will see this figure right here. Okay, it is a triangle with another smaller triangle within it. What's going on is EFG is the main triangle. H and I are at the midpoints. H and I are midpoints of the sides. <clears throat> Uh, now, the segment that connects the midpoints is called the mid-segment. So since those are midpoints, that means that H cuts side EF in half. So EH has the same length as HF. Let's say, for example, I don't know, let's say it's 3 so HF is also 3. I does the same thing to the side FG. It cuts it in half. <clears throat> um, so I know they look like they're exactly the same, but let's make them different just for the sake of uh, uh, making sure everything's clear here. Let's say that those are both 4. <clears throat> now, one of the properties of your mid-segment is, uh, first of all, it is parallel to the base. Okay, that mid-segment is parallel to the base. So HI is parallel to EG. You could be asked a question about that. Since those are parallel lines, if we look at this from a parallel lines perspective, um, if we're looking at the left side of this figure, then we can mark some angles as congruent. This angle right here at H is congruent to the angle at E because those would be corresponding angles on that side there. Uh, the same thing with the angle at I and the angle at G. Those would be corresponding angles with those parallel lines. <clears throat> um, another property of the mid-segment is that it is half the length of the base. Okay, so if the base here is 8, if EG is 8, then HI is 4. Now that has to do with similar triangles. What has been created here, the smaller triangle is similar to the bigger triangle um, because this side, um, HF is 3, this whole side right here is 6, because FI is 4, then this whole side right here would be 8. So they have a, a similarity ratio of 1 to 2. Okay, the smaller triangle um, is half the length of the bigger triangle, so that's why the mid-segment is half the length of the base, okay, because similar triangles have been created. Um, so the big things you need to know is that the mid-segment is half of the base <clears throat> and that the mid-segment is parallel to the base. HI is parallel to EG and those angles are congruent because of the parallel lines. Okay, those two vertical lines right there mean parallel. <clears throat> if you haven't seen that before. Okay, so when you, the mid-segment is created by connecting the two midpoints, um, we could have also, we could have done the midpoint of the left side to the midpoint of EG here, and the exact same thing would have occurred, except we would have been comparing it to the right side. You could do it with any of the midpoints. You could connect them and create a mid-segment. Okay, um, but typically it's a line like this. Okay, so you need to know that in order to answer.